Good afternoon, my fellow YouTubers, or should I say YouTubers. I'm just here to do a brief tutorial on how to get transparent flash or transparent Swift files to show up on Dreamweaver. So, let's begin. We will go to Firefox first, and let's get out of my mail. Let's go to cool background. And yeah, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna go to images. See what they have here. We're gonna take some random image here, like this. Okay, that's very small. Yeah. Let's get a better one. Anyways, garbage. All right, all right. We're gonna go to advanced search, and then we're going to type. We're actually we're gonna go on the drop-down menu. Go to large. Let's put definition of. Um, I don't know. Night sky. Much better. Searches, the search results are much more better. So, we're going to choose this one just because it's stuck out. Full size image. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, great. What is up with these uh, links? And it Oh, no. Here we go, finally. Congratulations! Oh, no, you no. won! I don't want to win. I don't want. Oh. What is going on here? It's taking like two years and three. Months. If you have a wet cough caused by mucus, why, 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 why? Darn commercials. <sighs> All right, finally loaded. Pull that thing into the desktop and close that garbage website. Ugh. All right. Yeah. Close, 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 close. Jeez. Oh. All right. Anyways, where was I? So, let's put a background here. So, let's go to the body of our page. Background. Browse. And, uh, this and, uh, well, I should have organized that, but anyways, let's put that here, uh, switch this to document so we can see it, choose, that's alright, yes, yes, okay, uh-huh, all right, save, replace, no, what did I just do, oh, I just put the thing, okay, apply, okay, good, here we go, alright, no, 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 come on, alright, we gotta fix that, no repeat, Please apply. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. I guess it doesn't fill up everything. It's all right. Anyways, we're gonna go repeat then. Uh, repeat X. Yeah, that'll be good. Anyways, so we have our background now, and say we are. All right. No background for the container. Let's take that out. And we're gonna go here and turn that off. Apply. Okay. Well, yeah, anyways. So now we're gonna say we wanted to put a Swift here. So let's find the size of this. Um, main content is the box size. Oh, it doesn't say. Very good. So we will just find the f size of the entire um, container. So go to box and it is 46 M's. Oh, okay, it's M's, that's why. Let's bring that up to, I don't know, 60. Maybe that might be too much. No, that's fine. Okay, 60 M's. Much better. Now, um, let's go into flash. Yes, sir. We're going to go into flash and we're going to make a flash file that is transparent or whatever yes I am making a song 
Alright, okay. Make this bigger. Alright, let's just do something really basic here. We're gonna take uh, some regular color box. I don't know. Um, yeah, and we're gonna take this uh, rectangle tool, pull that there, and uh, let's uh, insert a keyframe. Just classic tween that, and we're going to uh, I just make it bigger, move it here, uh, or something like that. Yeah, and then uh, we're gonna bring down the alpha like around 38. Okay, cool. And then we are going to make another layer. We're going to create a blank uh, around, around here. Uh, come on, go. Ah, oh, come on. All right, create blank keyframe. We're gonna change the color. Uh, rectangle tool again. Pull that here. Uh, let's lock that up, and we're gonna pull this. Uh, make a keyframe out here somewhere, and we're gonna create a classic tween. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, this is going to fade in around here, so this alpha is going to be at zero. Okay. So we bring that into place, and say we make it get bigger somewhere like something like that um, don't put the alpha all the way but slightly so say we have something like this happening okay yeah and say we we wanted to see our background still so when we, uh, we export this um, when we publish this we uh, save this as Untitled one and the desktop. Okay, and now we're going to test that movie. That's going to create our tested Swift file, which we're going to take this Swift file, and then we're going to uh, put it into our Dreamweaver. So hide that. Open Dreamweaver, and then. Let's go to let's go to insert image objects. No, insert media Swift. Oh wait, I lost that. Uh, insert insert media Swift. We want to put um, our Swift file, which is untitled. Um, change that to document and choose it. And no, who cares? Whatever. Uh, name it something. And here it is. Okay, so we have it in our website. Now let's get rid of this stuff. Here it is. Now, how do we make this transparent? Let's see. So we go to test this in Firefox. Okay. There it is. So this is our website, and see the white. Say we wanted our, our, you know, we wanted to see this background, but we can't because of the Swift. Um, the Swift file is not transparent, so we can't see through it. So how do we get it transparent? Well. We're going to figure that out right now. We go back to our Dreamweaver file and we click on on the Swift and we get options down here. We're supposed to get options down here. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay. Um yeah. So here we go. We're trying to get options down here again. Anyway, no, cancel. Alright, I think it's the setting that I have it on. Let's see, workspace layout. Let's go to um, uh, go to, go to, go to app developer. No, that would be the wrong one. <laughs> that would very much be the wrong one. Um, yeah, I guess I'll have to leave it on classic. But there is supposed to be a. Oh, no, cancel. 
Wow, I didn't even know you could do that. It goes straight to the, you know, if you wanted to edit it or not. Um, yeah. Where is the properties, man? Where is the pro properties? That's not supposed to be happening. Uh, 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 uh. Guess you will have to bear with me here until I find it. It's one of these thingamajigs somewhere around here. Oh, it's got a design view. Okay, click it. Now, no. Properties. Uh, that's not the properties that I saw when I was doing it. Ah, okay, there it is. It was it was hiding down here somewhere. Okay, you see this little arrow? If you get this, see this little arrow here? Click it. Bam. You get your options. All right, that's what I was looking for. Now you click that. Um, let's go back to split view so we can see what happened here. So we click we click our flash swift, and then we go to where it says WM mode. You see it's on a pack. We bring that down and we change it to transparent and we're done there you go your swift file is now transparent so preview in firefox save oh it was that simple there you go so now you've got a swift file that has that you know it's transparent you can see through it and yeah i think we're done here that's the end of this tutorial this is jimmy from moving mountains productions and have a great day